Bruce Dern is not the only star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Okay, wait a minute. What I meant was he's not the only star in his family on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. More about that later. He was born Bruce McLeish Dern in Chicago, Illinois. Now, one of his first breakout roles was in the John Wayne film, The Cowboys, in which he shoots John Wayne in the back. Spoiler alert. Wait, I'm supposed to say the spoiler alert first, right? Oops. At any rate, John Wayne famously said to him, America will hate you for this. And Bruce Dern quit back, yeah, but they'll love me in Berkeley. Bruce Dern also starred in the science fiction classic, Silent Running. This cautionary tale about our environment is sadly relevant today as it was back then. You gotta check it out. Some of Mr. Dern's other notable motion pictures would include The King of Marvin Gardens with his uh, co-star and pal Jack Nicholson, Great Gatsby, the one with Robert Redford, and in 1976, he was in Hitchcock's last film, Family Plot. Bruce Dern is also a darling of director Quentin Tarantino. He's been in Django Unchained, The Hateful Eight, and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Oh, here we are in Hollywood. Uh, but my favorite Bruce Dern picture is the one in which he got an Academy Best Actor nomination, and that was Nebraska, directed by fellow Nebraskan Alexander Payne. Bruce Dern was married from 1960 to 1969 to actress Diane Ladd. She was born Rose Diane Ladner in Meridian, Mississippi. Now, one of her first roles in the early 70s was in the soap opera Secret Storm. Never heard of it. But I have heard of Roman Polanski's Chinatown, in which Ms. Ladd had a supporting role, and she got a supporting actress nomination by the Academy for the film Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore, playing the part of Flo. Now, that spawned the hit sitcom Alice, starring Linda Lavin and Polly Holiday played Flo on the TV. Fun fact, when Polly Holiday left that sitcom, Diane Ladd came in, replaced her as waitress Bale Dupree. She came full circle there. Diane Ladd also got nominated for Best Supporting Actress for the films Wild at Heart and Rambling Rose. Okay, she starred in both of those pictures with her daughter, oh, and Bruce's daughter, Laura Dern. Now for Rambling Rose, Laura Dern got nominated for Best Actress by the Academy. So you know what this means? Laura and Diane were the first mother and daughter to be nominated for Oscars for the same movie. How cool is that? Laura Dern's breakout pictures would be Peter Bogdanovich's Mask and David Lynch's Blue Velvet, with whom she would become a frequent collaborator. Other notable roles of daughter Dern would be Jurassic Park, the Last Jedi, and my favorite, Citizen Ruth, in which she played the title role. This picture, of course, was directed by fellow Nebraskan, Alexander Payne. It was his first picture. Oh, wait a minute. Her dad, Bruce Dern, was in Nebraska. We just talked about this. Get this. This entire family got their stars on the 50th anniversary of the Hollywood Walk of Fame on the exact same day. How cool is that? This is Todd Pickering for Walk of Fame Wednesdays. I will see you in two weeks here in Hollywood.